what I can take away from it is that if you focus less on what you don't have and more on how to use what you do have, at the end of the day, decent results are way better than no results. My name is Jimmy, I'm a cinematographer, and today I want to do something a little different to what I originally planned. Basically I want to show you how by focusing less on tools and more on lighting principles, you can still get very good images on a very very low budget, or I would say no budget in this case. So let's start from the beginning. I wanted to shoot a video to upload on YouTube to teach you something or just to show the world that I can do something. And so I was like, I'm gonna need my uh, big light, my big softbox, and uh, even though the softbox is big, it's not gonna be soft enough by itself, so I'm gonna need one more layer of diffusion. And it was like, yes, that's great, that's the plan. But then I realized that all my lighting gear was at a friend's house because we were shooting music videos, so anxiety started to kick in. And I was like, can make this video happen? Like, how is it possible to light something without expensive, big, soft, professional lights like those are the only lights that I can use to make something look great so I'm done you know what I'm, done. I'm sorry the video is it's over it's over but wait a minute are you telling me that you can't make something look good if you don't have all your fancy toys to work with jokes aside I thought what if I'm in a documentary type of scenario and I'm limited in terms of gear or whatever limitation I should still be able to produce good images no matter what so I looked around my 45 square meters mansion and I found these a uh, cheap LED which I don't know the name of and a Godox tube lights and so I was like I think I can make something happen with these and so I asked my girlfriend to join me in this crazy adventure of mine and uh, since I cooked for the whole week I asked her if she could make uh, chicken satay which is her specialty and uh, my favorite dish on earth and uh, maybe crochet a little bit in the meantime so that I could film it and obviously she agreed right away and so I had myself something to film nice I didn't direct her in any way because I chose to give a, a documentary type of vibe to the whole thing. And apart from the lights that I showed you before, I happened to own three table lamps, two of which I used like practicals, and one acted like some sort of key light for when she was sitting at the table. So I placed the tube light overhead on a C-stand, mimicking a house light, and I first put a um, diffusion cloth on it, like homemade diffusion cloth on it, just to soften it a little bit, but uh, I realized it was killing the output too much, so... I decided to get rid of it. Then I taped the small LED to the underside of the cabinet and you can actually see it in some shots but uh, it didn't bother me too much so I ended up not moving it. All the table lamps had uh, 2700 Kelvin bulbs in them so tungsten temperature and uh, to get some color separation I set the overhead light to 3400 Kelvin and the small LED to 3600 Kelvin. The Sony FX3 which was the camera that I used was set to 4000 Kelvin and the lens was the 2470 2.8 which was set at 35 millimeters 2.8 basically the whole time I recorded in the S log 3 at 800 ISO with a two stops ND filter and 1 8 strength uh, black pro mist and that was pretty much the whole setup I focused on creating depth in the image by backlighting and uh, shooting on the shadow side of the face of the subject and uh, the only change to the setup was uh, moving this light closer when she was turned towards the counter and uh, that was pretty much it and I think the footage turned out to be good I mean not great but definitely uh, more than acceptable in my opinion and uh, I know that I could have achieved way better results by using bigger and softer lights uh, especially in those close-ups where she looks like uh, she has a little bit of a blue eye on uh, on the left eye but uh, being limited to little to no gear was actually the challenge of this video and uh, what I can take away from it is that if you focus less on what you don't have and more on how to use what you do have 
At the end of the day, decent results are way better than no results. And uh, if I would have perpetuated the line of thinking that uh, this light is not soft enough for close-ups or that uh, shooting in small spaces uh, is difficult and you don't achieve great results, then there would have been no video for you to watch today. And maybe, maybe that would have been a good thing. I don't know. You tell me. To wrap it up, experiment, experiment, experiment. Don't be discouraged by the lack of gear and instead think of it as an opportunity to think creatively and improve your craft. And uh, just like a philosopher once said, just do it. Just, just do it. Was it an actor? I don't know. Anyway, if you like this video, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up, by commenting, subscribing. And if you didn't like it, well, just share it with the people you don't like. It's a win-win situation. Anyway, love you.